بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على أشرف المرسلين سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين. Today we'll talk about pillars and non-pillars. العمدة والفضلة. العمدة والفضلة. This is a central concept in Arabic grammar. But before I start, let me quickly recap what we have covered so far. We have talked about two types of words, inflected and uninflected, mu'rab and mabni. Mu'rab is a word that changes it changes its ending depending on the grammatical function. And mabni, on the other hand, does not change. We learned that alism and al mudari are mu'rab with some exceptions for each. We also learned that words that are mu'rab have states. There are four states. And each state has a default sign. The rafa state, the sign is dhamma. Al-nasub, fatha. Al-jar, kasra. Al-jazm, sukun. So that's what we've learned very quickly at a high level. Without going into too many details, I just wanted to refresh your memories. Now keep that information in mind as we take today's lesson because today's lesson is built on top of the previous lessons. What is this thing called Al-Umda and Fadla? <clears throat> Let's try to understand these foundational, foundational, super critical concepts. تتكون الجملة الاسمية تتكون الجملة الاسمية the nominal sentence what's a جملة اسمية nominal sentence it's made up of two parts من جزئين as a minimum as a minimum المبتدأ which is the subject وخبره and its predicate the minimum number of words needed to make an Arabic sentence, whether it's jumla ismiya, nominal, or whether it's verbal, which we'll talk about in just a minute, is two. The minimum is two. You cannot have a sentence with less than two. Islam has five pillars. An Arabic center, sentence has two pillars. So, Al Muqtada wa al Khabar are the two critical pillars or parts that you need as a minimum to make a nominal sentence, which is Jumla Ismiya. That is the definition of Jumla Ismiya. It's a, it's a Jumla sentence that has no verbs at the very basic level, it has no verbs. And the first word is usually al muptada or the subject. And the second word is its predicate, khabaruhu or al khabar. For example, Zaydun Talibun. This is this is a complete sentence, Zaydun Talibun. Zaid fa Zaydun Muptada on. So Zaid is Muptada. Muptada is a technical term which means subject. What Talibun Khabaruhu and Talib is its khabar, its predicate. Khabar means information. We translate it at, in a technical way as predicate. What Tatakawan al Jumlatul Fa'liya, on the other hand, a verbal sentence. So so in Arabic we have two types of sentences. Ismiya and fa'liya. Ismiya is made up of Muqtada and Khabar, and Fa'liya is made up of Min juz'ain, also two parts, al-fi'l, the verb, wa fa'ilihi, and it's doer in that specific order. It has to be fi'l and then doer. And we learned that in level one very, uh, very clearly. It was spelled out and we practiced and we took quizzes. 
that the fi'l comes first, then the fa'il of the fi'l comes. So these two are pillars, these two parts or juz'ain are pillars that make up what? Tatakawanu al jumlatul fi'liya. They make al jumla al fi'liya. Example. Yadrusu Zaydun. Yadrusu is the fi'l and Zaydun is the fa'il. You already know that from level one introductory Arabic morphology. Fayadrusu fi'l wa Zaydun fa'iluhu. Yusamma al juz'u, the part is called umda, pillar. Both the parts. So there are two parts in a sentence. Each part is called umda. I'm going to rephrase this a little bit. Yusamma kullun min al juz'aini. Both of the parts are called umdatan. Each one is a pillar. Umda means pillar. Wa yusamma ghayrul umdati fadlah. And anything that is not a pillar is called a fadlah. These two are important terms, pillars and non-pillars, al-umda and al-fadla. So anything, if it's, if anything that's not a pillar must be a fadla. So every sentence must have two umda, umdatain, two pillars. As a minimum, that is the bare bones minimum. Even therefore, likulli jumlatin, Umdatan. Therefore, for every sentence, there are two pillars. Ithnatan. This is tawki. This is emphasizing that there are two pillars. I don't have to say ithnatan. I can delete the word ithnatan. And the sentence is still correct and the meaning is still communicated. But when I add the word ithnatan, what am I doing? I am emphasizing it. I'm saying two. Right? This is the type of tawki we learn an easy intro to Arabic. إذن لكل جملة عمدتان اثنتان لا يتم that is not completed what's not completed المعنى the meaning is not completed بدونهما without these two pillars now there's other kinds of pillars also we will study مبتدا خبر and فعل and فاعل are just some examples of pillars. There are other types of pillars that we will study also, and that's what the footnote is saying. Taqa'ul fadlatu and the fadla. Fadla. No, no. Taqa'ul fadla. The fadla, which is non pillar, where does it appear in the sentence? Aslan by default, or normally, or generally. Fi. In the akhiril jumla, at the end of the sentence. Now let's look at the English translation. A nominal sentence is formed by putting together a subject and its predicate. That's it. That's the two things you need as a minimum. This is not a maximum. You can have more than two words. You can have three, four, five, ten, hundred, whatever. You can have as many words as you want, but the minimum is al mubtada subject and its predicate khabar. For example, Zaydun Talibun, Zayd is uh, mubtada and Talibun is khabar. On the other hand, a verbal sentence is put together, is formed by putting together a verb fi'l and its fa'il doer. Remember from level, uh, previous level, we learned that the fa'il always comes after. For example, Yadrusu <clears throat> Zaydun. Both the mutra and its khabar are umda pillars because a jumla ismiya is incomplete. Incomplete. Okay, it's incomplete. If either one of the two pillars is missing, therefore both are necessary for a nominal sentence to be complete. If some if a if a jumla ismiya is missing, if it's missing. A mutada. That's a syntax error. That's a grammatical mistake, a big gram grammatical mistake. Similarly, if a jumla is missing a khabar, big error, big mistake. Now, sometimes in advanced courses, the khabar is deleted, but it's understood. We'll talk about that later. Every sentence you see in Arabic, look for the pillars. From now on, every day when you read at least one verse of the Quran, look for the pillars. 
Therefore, both are necessary for a nominal sentence to be complete. Similarly, a fi'l and its fa'il are also pillars on the because they are necessary. They are necessary and required parts of the sentence. Okay, there's no need to say required, I guess. Or necessary. They are required parts of the of the fi'liya. All other words in the sentence are called fadla non-pillars. The not having a pillar doesn't mean it's not needed, it's useless. It means it's just giving you additional information. They add more meaning to the sentence. And where do they appear? You cannot find plus usually at the end of the sentence, but not always. Keyword here, usually. Okay, usually appear. Usually, very important. And in Quran, sometimes for rhetorical reasons, and also in classical uh, ancient Arabic poetry, for rhetorical reasons, the poets were very good with word order. They would play with the syntax of the sentence. You know, syntax is the word order. And they would uh, create a, a really interesting uh, rhetorical effects. So that's it. That's Umdah and Fadla, pillars and non-pillars, two pillars. Islam has five pillars. An Arabic sentence must have two pillars. The two pillars are either fi'il followed by its fa'il or a muqtada followed by its khabar. And there are exceptions and details which are inshallah coming. Here's an exercise that must be completed. And then there's a quiz after that. The first one has been done for you. Zaydun Talibun, Al-Umdatul Ula. Al-Umdatul Ula, the first pillar. Al-Umdatul Thaniya, second pillar is Talib. And al-fadla, in this sentence, there's no fadla. Let's do the second one. Maybe we can do um, this as a class activity. Fatima, alima. So what's, what's the first pillar? What's the first pillar, guys? Come on. That's correct. Fatima is the first pillar. So I'm going to put that down here. And what about al umdat al What's the second pillar? That's the khabar. Al khabar is right here. Any fadlas? Nope, no fadlars. La, or you can just say no fadlas. Okay, let's do one more. Shariba zaydun. What, first of all, what kind of sentence are? What kind of sentence uh, is the first and two? Is it nominal, ismiya, or is it verbal fi'liya? Yes, that's correct. Both of these are nominal okay let's do the next one shall we let's do one more zaydun shariba where is the first pillar first pillar is the fi'l which is zaydun and where's the second pillar excuse me the first pillar is shariba fi'l which is shariba the second pillar is zaid it's the second pillar and what about fad? Oops, I put it in the wrong column here. There you go. Where's the, what about the fadla? Any fadla? No fadla. I don't see no more words. I only see two. Similarly, you complete this exercise and check your answers using the online answer key. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Wa salatu wa salamu ala ashraf al mursaleen. Sayyidina Muhammadin wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in. Mm -hmm.